Hello, my name is Charlie Krautman and I am the Oil Compliance Section Supervisor. This presentation describes OneStop, which is an online database where the public can view DES program records. If an owner, stakeholder, engineer, or contractor would like to gather documents associated with an underground storage facility, OneStop is the place to go online. Otherwise, they would need to schedule an appointment to come into our office, make photocopies, and spend time and money getting the same information. This is your best tool to maintain compliance at your facility. Try using this before calling us. DES went through an overhaul of our website in 2020. We are still working on updates, although accessing One Stop is easy. Go to our main website at www.des.nh.gov, as noted at the top of the page. Look for the link to One Stop at the top of the page and hit it. After clicking on the One Stop link on our main website, you will enter the One Stop navigation page. Here, click on the button for NHDES One Stop as seen in the slide. At the next web page, at the top of it, enter in either your site number, which is a nine digit number, or the facility number, which is a seven digit number. Both numbers can be found on your permit to operate. You can also use some of the fields below to find your facility, such as selecting your town, typing in the address, and checking the box for underground storage tanks. If you enter your facility or site ID directly, you will come to a page such as this, which may have a handful of other links related to programs within DES. Look for the link to the Underground Storage Tank Program and click on it. Once you arrive at your Underground Storage Tank facility, the best piece of information off of one stop is the facility report which has a link on the left side of the page. There are some other buttons that you can see on this page that you can explore, but the facility report is where you'll find all the compliance related information. Starting at the top of the facility report, you will find the facility number, which is the seven digit number, and the site number, which is the nine digit number. The address of the tanks is located in the middle of the page. Working down the page, the owner and primary contact of the tank is provided. If this needs updating, a registration form should be filled out and sent in to us. Number two includes a checklist for your facility and is something to verify prior to us coming out for the triennial inspection, which is required by the EPA. Number three states an approximation of when the next triennial inspection will occur at the facility. That date is based on the last inspection and extended out three years. Number four is based on the submitted statement of training forms related to the AB operators and when their certificates expire. Moving down the page, we jump into the database records for each tank at the facility. This particular facility has two active tanks, number six at the top and number eight in the middle. The capacity, type of tank, contents of storage and status of the systems is provided in the highlighted areas. The list below each tank consists of tests associated with different components of the tank. Dates from the last test are provided as well as the due date for the next test. Occasionally, we have new rules and requirements that have become effective in between inspection dates. So this is the best place to check if your system is up to date with testing and when the next due dates for testing occurs. Moving back to the main UST Facility One Stop page, you can also scroll down on the facility's main page. When scrolling down, you will first come across the tank information at the facility. This tank information is used to populate the tank certificate and will distinguish active tanks versus temporarily or permanently closed tanks. 
It also may include information related to the construction material of the tank and piping and the system type. As you continue to scroll down, the next field includes facilities activities, which aren't too helpful from a compliance standpoint, but is important for enforcement. The activities are listed in chronological order, and there may be multiple pages of them. In this example, you can see that we are on page one of three. Continuing down the main page of the facility, you will see permits for the facility and then plans related to reconstruction or construction projects, which is helpful for tracking purposes. Here you can see if an approval to construct has been granted. If you have a gasoline dispensing facility, you also may find some information related to vapor recovery in the next section. The last item you will find at the bottom of the page are the downloadable documents. Second to the facility report that I already detailed, this is a useful resource to view all of the ingoing and outgoing correspondences, testing reports, and permits. Here you can verify if, for example, your contractor is submitting reports on your behalf, if and when they are coming through. Depending on our backlog of uploads, it may take up to a week to verify that the document has been posted. Other useful one-stop tools that we provide to customers include the Waste Division Reports and Service Provider Listing. The link to this tool is found if you go back to our main website and then click the One Stop link. In the lower right section of the next web page under Related Content, click the link to Waste Division Report and Service Provider Listing. Within this web page, the middle and right side of the page consist of buttons where you can locate volunteer consultants, contractors, and companies that perform testing, maintenance, installation, and design of underground storage tanks. The list is not comprehensive, but is a good start when seeking out assistance at your facility. You can also find some general statistics related to tanks in New Hampshire. So, just as a reminder, to get to One Stop in your facility report, click the One Stop link on our main website. Then hit the button for NHDES One Stop under the One Stop Navigation page. Type in the facility or site number on the search page and then click the link to Underground Storage Tank Program. For the folks out there that are performing tests and need to submit testing documents to us, we are currently trying to get the majority of our customers to do it online versus snail mail or fax if they have the necessary equipment and internet connections. To do so, you create an account on our website. This process is managed by Nicole Giannunzio. It is a seamless way to get your documents posted and provides an electronic receipt upon uploading the document. All documents must be in PDF format. To create an account from the main website, once again, hit the One Stop link. Under the One Stop Navigation page under Related Contents, hit the One Stop Data Provider link. On the next page, if you are a new user, hit the New User button at the bottom of the page. From there, you will have to provide your name, email, site number, which is the nine digit number. For this, the facility number will not work. And then scroll down to the upload report documents for the waste management division and type in your reasoning for creating the account. For example, I've been recently contracted by the owner to perform their monthly and annual inspections and tests and will be uploading subsequent reports. Lastly, I want to point out our own webpage, which may assist you with additional questions related to underground storage tanks. 
from our main website at www.des.nh.gov, click on Business and Community, where you will get a drop-down menu. Scroll down the drop-down menu to Fuel Storage Tanks and select them. This slide is a screenshot of Oil Compliance Section's main website. From here, you can find links to our rules and buttons to access testing forms, application and registration forms, as well as get updates on operator training. You can also access one stop in the Waste Division Reports and Service Provider Listing under the Resources box on the right of the page. That wraps up the One Stop presentation. Please remember that One Stop is an online database where the public can view DES program records and is the best resource to check on the compliance of your underground storage tank.